Have you ever seen a candle that remains lit even underwater? You will need a candle, matchsticks, a beaker of water, and a container for your candle to sit in. I'm using a ramekin from my kitchen. With the candle sitting inside the ramekin, I'm going to pour water over it. Watch how this candle remains lit even when I'm pouring water over it and even when it's fully submerged in water. Now that it is underwater, the temperature has dropped significantly. I can even touch it with my fingertip. And by now, you most likely realize that this experiment makes no physical sense. And that's because I don't have a magic candle. All I have is the knowledge of reflection. Let's take a look at what's behind the scene. What I didn't tell you at the start was that I had a piece of glass. A thinner piece of glass would have worked better, and doing this in the dark will give you the best result. This experiment is known as Pepper's Ghost, because that was a technique traditionally used in theater production to produce ghostly effects. Place your candle in front of the sheet of glass. Place the container on the other side. When I light this candle, you will see that the candle's reflection produces a virtual image if you observe it from the right angle. That's because the glass acts as a partial mirror. And notice that the distance between the candle and the glass is the same as the distance between the image and the glass. Let's have a look at how we can draw a ray diagram for an object in front of a mirror. Taking the top of the candle's flame, I'm going to draw a ray of light reflected into the observer's eye. Remember the angle of incidence is always the same as the angle of reflection. I need to repeat this one more time with a ray from the same point, but make sure it strikes the mirror at a different point. Again, this is a ray reflected into the person's eye. To find the exact position of the virtual image inside of the mirror, we need to extend the two reflected rays beyond the mirror. Where they meet, that's the virtual image. So using the idea of reflection in a ray diagram, we once again have shown that the virtual image is the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of the mirror. Thanks for watching this video lesson. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.